Have you ever wondered why some people relish the fiery burn of a chili pepper while others can't stand even a hint of heat? It's a question that has intrigued many of us, and the answer lies in the fascinating world of taste. This sensory experience plays a key role in our daily lives, influencing not just what we eat, but also how we perceive the world around us. Taste perception is a complex interplay of several factors. It's influenced by our genetic makeup, which determines how our taste receptors respond to different flavors. It's shaped by our cultural background and personal preferences, which can evolve over time. And it's not just about our tongues. Our sense of taste is intricately connected to other senses, like smell and texture, creating a multidimensional experience that's unique to each one of us. So, let's embark on this flavorful journey. Welcome to Wisdom Wave, where we dive into the sensory world of flavors and uncover the science of taste. When it comes to taste, we're not just talking about sweet, sour, salty, and bitter anymore. The world of flavors is far more nuanced than that. Let's delve into the fascinating realm of the five basic tastes. These are the keystones that shape our perception of flavor, and they play a symphony on our tongues every time we eat. First up, sweet. This is the taste our brains often equate with energy. It's the taste of sugars, certain proteins, and a few other types of molecules. Sweetness often signals the presence of carbohydrates in a dish, which are our body's primary energy source. Next is sour, the taste that puckers your lips and makes you squint. It's the taste of acidity. Foods high in citric, malic, or other acids like lemons or sour candies give us this tangy sensation. Sourness can indicate the ripeness or spoilage of food, playing a crucial role in our survival instincts. Then comes salty, the taste that can make or break a dish. It's the flavor of metal ions, primarily sodium. Our bodies need salt to perform a myriad of essential functions. Too little can be just as harmful as too much, so our taste buds help maintain that delicate balance. Bitter is the taste that often gets a bad rap. It's the sharp, sometimes unpleasant sensation we get from certain vegetables, coffee, or dark chocolate. Bitterness evolved as a natural warning system against potentially harmful substances, many of which have a bitter taste. And finally, we have umami, the relative newcomer to the taste party. Umami is a Japanese word that translates to pleasant savory taste. It's the taste of amino acids, particularly glutamate, and it's found in foods like meat, cheese, and tomatoes. The discovery of umami broadened our understanding of taste, adding a whole new dimension to the flavor experience. So, next time you savor your favorite dish, remember, there's a symphony of these five basic tastes playing on your tongue. Each taste contributing to the overall flavor, creating an intricate dance of sensations that makes eating such a delightful experience. Ever wondered why food tastes bland when you have a cold? It's because our sense of taste and smell are intimately linked. In fact, our noses play a significant role in our perception of flavor. Now, let's delve deeper. The human tongue can detect only five basic tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. But how do we differentiate between a strawberry and a raspberry, both of which are sweet? Or between chicken and beef, which are both savory? This is where our sense of smell comes into play. When we eat, the food releases aromatic molecules that travel up to our nasal cavity. This region houses the olfactory bulb, our smell center, which is directly connected to our brain. The olfactory bulb detects these molecules and sends a signal to our brain, which then identifies the specific aroma. Now, combine this aroma with the basic taste from our tongue, and voila, we perceive the unique flavor of the food we're eating. That's why when our nose is blocked due to a cold or allergies, the aromatic molecules can't reach the olfactory bulb, leading to a decrease in our perception of flavor. We can still taste the basic sweet, salty, sour, bitter, or umami, but the distinctiveness of the food is lost. Have you ever noticed how food seems to taste more vibrant when you take the time to appreciate its aroma first? That's because the brain has already started the flavor identification process through your sense of smell before you even take a bite. 
In the world of gourmet cooking and wine tasting, the aroma of the food and drink is given as much importance as the taste. Professional chefs and sommeliers often take a moment to smell the dish or drink before tasting it, enhancing their perception of the flavor. So, the next time you're enjoying a meal, remember, you're not just tasting it, but also smelling it. This intricate dance between taste and smell makes the simple act of eating a complex and delightful sensory experience. As we delve deeper into the science of taste, we're discovering fascinating new aspects that could revolutionize how we perceive flavor. One of the most intriguing areas of research is the possibility of a fat taste. Scientists are exploring whether our taste buds can detect fat as a distinct taste, similar to sweet, salty, sour, bitter, or umami. If proven, this could not only expand our basic understanding of taste, but also potentially influence the food industry, leading to the creation of healthier alternatives that satisfy our cravings for fatty foods. Another fascinating development in the field is the concept of digital taste simulators. Imagine being able to experience the flavor of a decadent chocolate cake or a juicy steak with just the press of a button. These devices, which use electrical and thermal signals to stimulate the taste buds, could open up a whole new world of culinary experiences. They could allow chefs to experiment with flavors in unprecedented ways, or even help people with dietary restrictions to enjoy the tastes they miss. But the impact of these advancements isn't limited to our kitchens or dining tables. They could also have significant implications for health and nutrition, allowing scientists to better understand how our bodies react to different tastes and potentially develop strategies to combat issues like obesity and diabetes. The future of taste science holds exciting possibilities that could transform our culinary experiences. Taste, as we've discovered, is a fascinating sensory experience. It's more than just a simple pleasure. It's a complex interplay of biology, chemistry, and perception. From the five basic tastes to the critical role of smell, and even the exciting future prospects in taste science, it's clear that our understanding of flavor is ever-evolving. Thank you for joining us on this flavorful journey at Wisdom Wave. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world around us. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.